the title kind of says it all really I am um, going to be giving up the allotment I've been pondering on this for kind of a while definitely not giving up growing completely but I'm just I'm I'm not really staying on top of it it's getting away from me it's getting a bit out of control um, I made this decision a couple of weeks ago and uh, I was kind of thinking I was hoping actually in September that I was going to be going back to college so I was aware that I was going to have even less time than I do have now so I was thinking about a solution to that and um, I don't know I'm going down to the allotment like every day obviously to water the tomatoes and stuff but I just think if I could do my gardening at home so I could nip out you know with a cup of coffee and the hoe and just um, quickly do a little bit of gardening even though the allotment's not that far away it's it's a, like a special trip to get there it's like 15 minutes there 15 minutes back and then uh, I don't know it, it seems like it's more of um, an event than occasion to go down there whereas you can't just pop out quickly and just water you have to like set aside an hour to do it um I think it's been a major like learning curve I've learned so much from having the allotment and I really miss um my prop neighbor neighbor Eric because he gives me like lots of advice and stuff but I'm also aware that there's a waiting list and I just don't think it's fair on my neighbors when mine is getting all um weedy and out of control um so I'm going to give it up I've decided and um, once the, the probably the sweet corn will be the last thing so I'm thinking maybe that'll be like the middle of September-ish that I'm going to give it up but I have been doing um stuff at home and it's been like having the allotment has been a major learning curve I've learned so much and the soil down there is pretty shocking as well so as well as it needing like a, a really good clearing which I I guess even from when I first had it I never really got totally on top of it the soil needs so much putting into it as well and I've got a little patch of garden at home not not that much but I have been growing some stuff in pots and that's all kind of stoned over at the moment so I pulled back the stones and there's a really thick membrane underneath then there's another membrane then there's more stones so I didn't think that I was going to be able to grow anything here but at I live in a flat so I'm the ground floor flat and there's an upstairs flat and the garden at the back is kind of split and um, the guy upstairs wasn't using his garden and he said it would be fine for me to put vegetables in there so I've been clearing that and actually I've had quite a lot of help from another neighbour that lives a few doors down we've been doing lots of the um, gardens oh hi Trevor's back <laughs> So basically I'm moving the allotment home <laughs> so I want to look at moving some of the fruit bushes now I know it's not exactly the right time of year so this is where I need some advice and things from you about how best to move that up from the allotment I think you know taking some cuttings would be good and I've got um, what else is down there rhubarb and strawberries to move up and also some saffron um, which so far hasn't flowered which I want to move up as well and then I have put a few things outside here already so let me take you outside and show you um, the space and what it, there's not much to see now but you need a little bit of vision but you can see like what's gonna become of it so this is it this is my space outside feels a bit weird to be filming out here I don't know what the neighbors are gonna be thinking um, as you can see it's just a work in progress like getting it cleared um, been doing it slowly there were it was mostly buddleia and ivy that was in here before so there's a lot of roots we had a bit of a fire here but they still need digging out I haven't really got anything in apart from these few um, tomatoes that they were extra from the allotment a while ago I've just been pinching them back a little bit today and then I've also got some chard in which is, is still very small and there was some kale in here as well I did a whole row of this but not that much came up but we did have the fire after I planted the seeds so that probably wasn't the best of ideas. This is also where I grew my potatoes so I grew those in these bags. I've, this is the bit that I was telling you about it's just all stones underneath so it's not very usable and then it goes all the way back so there's, there's a fair area here. Obviously giving up the allotment wasn't an easy decision to make but as you can see there's loads of potential here and um, when we took the allotment on originally we were living in a um, in the middle of town in a third floor flat whereas now we're on the ground floor and we've got this around us so it's 
course. It seems silly not to make the, the most of it while we're here. So there will continue to be some updates from the allotment for the next few weeks, maybe six weeks or so I'm, I'm thinking, until I can get things moved. And I'm hoping to bring the greenhouse up here too, which is uh, which was one of the big things that I was worried about losing because obviously I love the tomatoes in the greenhouse. So there's gonna be a few changes around here, but I'm definitely still gonna be gardening and growing my food. And now I'm just gonna be doing it on my doorstep instead of down the road. So stick with me guys and thanks for watching. Bye bye.